everyone! Here we are with another cool class together. Technology is more and more part of our daily life, so today I want to teach you how to create a standing phone holder to make you watch your movies or other stuff on your smartphone comfortably. Now let's open up Autodesk Fusion 360 and start this new class together. Step 1. Creation of the general shape. Let's start a new sketch on the left plane and using the line tool draw this kind of shape. We have to create a space where your phone can stand, a sort of slot, and then a back wall where the phone can lean on. Think about a sort of reclined chair where you want to put your phone. The inclination must be not too steep because if not it would be impossible to watch your phone comfortably and not too vertical. Then we need to create a sort of foot on the back part that helps the structure to stand. Make sure to use the perpendicular relationships between lines while drawing the shapes. You can see if two lines are perpendicular if a grey T symbol and a light blue square appear close to the lines. Keep in mind that you can always add these kind of relationships afterwards using the sketch palette on the right. Step 2. Fixing the general dimensions. Use the Smart Dimension now in the Sketch section of the top menu to fix some important dimensions. Since we defined some relations before, now it's easier to set the length of the elements. Since this is the side view of our phone holder, we are going to work mostly on the thicknesses of the parts. The first dimension we want to define is the space where our phone can sit to stand. Usually a phone is around 7 mm thick and we want to leave some extra space, so we use the smart dimension to make this line 10 mm long. We set then the length of the back part where the phone is going to lean on at 70 mm. My phone is 130 mm long, so this dimension fits well with this ratio. Then keep using the smart dimension and set the thickness of all the walls at 5 mm, which makes them strong enough but still pretty thin. Make sure to set the distance between the bottom and the corner of the inner space at 2.5 mm. This is a pretty delicate point and we need to make it thick enough to be resistant. Set the length of the front wall at 20 mm and the angle between the walls and the base at 70 degrees. We are ready now to extrude the sketch and make it three-dimensional. Select the Extrude tool in the Create section of the top menu and using the setting box choose as direction symmetric and as distance 35 mm. As you can see the extrusion acts on both the sides and the phone holder is in total 70 mm wide. Step 3. Using the fillets. Select first the two edges inside the space where the phone is supposed to stay. We want to make these edges smoother and rounded. Apply a fillet radius of 4 mm, selecting the fillet tool in the modify section of the top menu. Use again the fillet tool to add a 10 mm radius of fillet in the back part of the holder. We are using a bigger radius here to make the structure more stable. Use again the fillet tool and select all the other edges except only for the ones on the base and use a fillet radius of 1.5 mm. Check from different point of view to see if the shape is correct and smooth enough and all the edges were selected. Step 4. Customization of your design. I want to customize now the phone holder adding on the front surface a text. Keep in mind that you can use every flat surface as a plane to start new sketches and apply new functions. Now select the front surface and start a new sketch on it using the text tool in the sketch section of the top menu and type the text you want to add to your design. You can write your name or a name of your friend or draw a shape you like. Use the text setting box to change the font and the dimensions of the text. Drag the text to put it in a better position, centered with the holder. Check the axis to have some guidelines. 
Select then the Extrude tool to add some thickness to the text. Set the distance at 1.5 mm and make sure to select the Operation Join to create a single body. Step 5. Save and export your STL file. Save now your design in Autodesk Fusion 360 Cloud. Click the saving icon and save it as phone holder. Once saved, notice that the new name appeared also at the top of the left menu. Right-click on the new name to open the secondary menu and select Save as STL. Make sure to set as refinement high and then export the file for 3D printing. Congratulations! Now your phone holder is ready and you can 3D print it. Don't forget to upload your designs on your profile and share them with our creative community on kirakira.com.